Yo, what is up, my people? Bring you got another Smash educational video, yay! And in this one, we are going to be <coughs> excuse me, I'm still under the weather on that. But in this video, we're going to be talking about patience and how to practice it on your own. That's why right, you can practice patience on your own and step up your game dramatically. And I'm about to show you how. This is a little um, trick thing that I came up with. People see training mode, they just practice it for combos and a few minor things like moving around and whatnot. And that's it. Everything I'll be like, yo, why are you using training mode? It's not really going to help you. You got to fight people, man. Go to tournaments, yo. Go to Smash Fist, yo. Play your friends, yo. Go on Wi Fi. But I'll tell you right now, don't think like that. Always think outside the box. Be creative. Because if you're thinking like everybody else is thinking, not much is going to happen because it's the same shit. It's literally the same shit. Like when you be creative and be innovative, I'm telling you, man, shit happens, shit gets done, new things get presented, and everybody gets hit with that wow factor. And I'm about to hit you with the wow factor right now. Like, this is some serious shit. So here we go. What I like to do when I practice patience and movement and whatnot is I pick level 9 DK, right? The reason for this is because, one, he has decent range. He's not that slow. And if you want to practice edge guarding, he's a decent character to practice edge guarding. He doesn't recover stupid. So do that. Pick whatever stage you want. You already know what stage I'm going to. Like, woo! You already know. And here's what you do. Step number one, right? It's first thing I'll do. Follow my instruction exactly as I'm doing it. Uh, put the top away. Put it to attack. Peach, you know, you want to have a turn up. And what you want to do first is you want to move around the opponent, stay close to them, but don't get hit. Literally, don't get hit. Just practice moving around the opponent and not getting hit. I'm just have to cover it myself in case he tries to chase me. I'm out. Because I knew for a fact that I wouldn't be able to punish. He could probably air dodge or something. If I try to attack him, because Peach is moving not that quick. Okay, I had to respect and good catch. I'm out. I'm not playing no games. So do this, right? Practice being hard to hit and do it for like a minute. After a minute, now try to do it for two minutes to start the clock. Two minutes. Then after that, do it for three minutes. And then and then after that, four. And let's say I do four minutes and Within four minutes, I get hit. Oh, I'm going back <coughs> to, to level three. Do for three minutes now. Going back to level three. After that, go to level four, level five, five minutes, level six, six minutes, so on, so forth. Challenge yourself. You challenge yourself. Just this gets you into the mentality of you know being hard to hit and always want to be on the move. Because if you're hard to hit, you see these openings that DK is leaving me right now? Trying to hit me? Like, it's gonna get you into that mindset of always waiting for something. Waiting for stuff that's a guaranteed punish. If it's not a guaranteed punish and the opponent whips an attack and you're not close enough, by the time they you get to them, they can move. Nah, don't 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 attack. So after you do that, right? Now, now you attack. Be like, okay, now I'm gonna look for guaranteed stuff like that and then punish. Oh, but I was too close. It's alright then. I'm not gonna do that again. Too close now. Too close. Too close. Let's see. I need him to swing first. I'm not gonna swing unless he does. I'm not gonna swing unless he does. Okay, he swung. Okay, that's it. I probably could have grabbed him. Away. I'm not trying to commit too much. I'm not gonna swing unless he does. He swung, but I couldn't punish. So I'm not gonna contest. I'm not gonna try to challenge that. Oh, that's a punish. Got him. Let's see what else. Ah, I tried to ground floating there and beat him to the punch. That's not a punish. Probably could have been, but I didn't want to. Okay, I gotta respect because I'm in the corner and I'm not trying to play guessing games. So I grab the ledge to make him guess a lot of options on how I'm gonna get back onto the stage. It makes it easier for me to come back. Even though I'm in a bad situation, I'm making the best of a bad situation. Okay. Oh, see, I tried to swing there. That wasn't safe. After he air dodged and I, and I dropped the turn up, I couldn't do that. Okay, see, I gotta respect him now. I'm near the left. I'm not gonna go in, push the panic button, and try to do stuff. Nope. That's a punish. Can't get no more hits. I'm gonna stay close to him. And if I want, I could probably throw in a space, a few space aerials here and there. That's a punish. Oh, I'm trying to roll bear. I suck at that shit. Right now. Okay, that's it. Oh. See, doing stuff like that, that lets you know, be like, you know what? I shouldn't be doing that. Because people can punish. And there you go, man. So, practice being hard to hit first without attacking. And then. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> and then afterwards, like, when the CPU leaves themselves open, that's when you go on attacking. And instead, that's going to put you into the mentality, the mindset, the muscle memory of um, 
always waiting for something that's guaranteed if you're not sure what the opponent's gonna do. If you fight somebody for the first time, you don't know their habits. You don't know what the heck they're gonna do. You don't know how they're gonna react. You don't know how to, you don't know shit. So if you're just doing stuff hoping that it works, like as soon as the match starts, you're just going swinging, you're doing it for no reason. You don't have a reason of doing that because you don't know what the opponent's gonna do. And if you watch my adaptation video on how to adapt somebody and wait and plan, combine that with this and you'll see, man, that, that's very important. So not only does this increases your movement, like put your movement game up, it also helps you be aware and wait for guaranteed stuff while, you know, always being on the move, paying attention to what your opponent is doing, and, you know, be, being hard to hit. Now, I'll pick another character for this. Um, I'll pick the white boy. Pick Cloud, right? Let's go Cloud right quick. Uh, so we, uh, pick Cloud. Now, you know how a lot of Clouds play at time, though. They'll throw out a move, be throwing out a whole bunch of aerials, and then they'll space their attacks, and, or throw an attack, and then just, you know, immediately down to, you know, typical Cloud bullshit. So look, that's how you practice the white boy. For those that play the white man, I'm about to show you how you do it. Again, go back to step number one. Be hard to hit. Like, just move around. Ah, shit, see? Oh, that's because I aired the floor. Now, if you notice, I'm not rolling a lot. Like, a lot of people, when shit goes bad, they do this. This can get very predictable. In high level play, like, somebody could read that and then punish you. Like, when I fight people who roll, the most common direction that they're gonna roll after something fails, I'll just chase them and then I'll dash attack them or punish. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. Like, I'm not saying don't ever roll, but don't do it to a point where, you know, the opponent can read you. So see, look, this is me practicing moving around. And I'm not even attacking. Except for that one time, brother. I gotta feel comfortable on the ground, man. Cause there may be characters that, you know, they shutting down the air. And I can't go on the ground. No, I can't go in the air. So after, you know, you do this for a while. And then, oh yeah, let's throw some air attacks here and there. Now, let's throw in some attacks with that movement. Oh, it's so safe. Oh. See? And look for stuff that's guaranteed. Let's see what's guaranteed. He's not doing anything yet that's guaranteed. So I'm just gonna wait it out. Probably throw out a you know a few aerials here and there. That was not safe for him to do, but I wasn't close enough to punish. Okay, now I got punished. And I blocked because I'm like, you know what? I know for a fact I can't follow up after that. By the time I get them, he can do something. So a few air attacks. Like, you see this? Like, I'm telling you right now, I'm, yo, I kid you not. You do this for a while with whatever character, and then you fight people, like, you, you, you're gonna see, you gonna see some shit. You're gonna see a dramatic change. Like, do this, and then go on for glory with these players, and then watch. You're gonna see how easy these for glory people are, yo. People might get annoyed because they roll and whatnot, but watch. You're you gonna see some change. Like, these rollers and spammers, they're gonna be free as fuck. And then, you know, they're gonna be the one, um, they're gonna change the attack to something stupid, like, you know, spammer and whatnot. But see, that's that that that's class. So you can do it for any character. If you really want to challenge, like test yourself to the limit, do the shit with Ganon. With Ganon, this shit is tough. Now with Ganon, don't roll a lot. All right, don't don't spam rolling. You know, left and right. You can roll every now and then, but don't be for glory. Don't don't do that. Like try to move, jump out the way, move out the way. If you know your opponent's range of attack. There's no need for you to block, roll, or anything because they're not gonna hit you. So again, do this with Ganon. From to attack, right? Got this moving. See that DK range. See, I rolled, but that's it. Too close. Okay, I have to respect. He's too close. So I got the ledge to throw off the opponent a little bit. I'm not trying to get hit. See, I moved out the way. See, he's leaving me openings. But I'm not taking them yet because, again, I'm practicing moving around. I don't want to get hit. Grab it. Oh, okay, I want to grab the ledge. See? Okay, now after you feel comfortable with this and then you do the little minute challenges, now you can put attacks in and go for punishes. Ah, too close. I'm out. Get close to him. Let me see. I'm waiting for something. 
that wasn't even though I got the hit, that wasn't good because DK didn't swing. So even though I got the hit, I'm still gonna say, you know what, that's not a good thing. He didn't swing. I just threw that shit out there hoping that it works. And that's that autopilot stuff, man. Can't be doing that. Even if you get the hit, like the fact that you got the hit, you're gonna be relying on it. Your brain gonna trick you, be like, you know what, you can do it, man. Cause I got it once, I can do it again. Nah man. Don't don't get into the habit of that. Always question yourself, even if you get a hit. You win a match, lose a match, always question how it could be better. The risk that you took that you probably shouldn't be taking. See right there. That's a hit. Okay, no more. And then neutral resets, and then rinse and repeat. There you go. And basically, with Ganon, like I said, it's harder. But <coughs> do it like that, and you'll be good. You're going to see a change, man. Right? You're going to see a change. This is helping you um, get your movement up there. Helps you with your patience. You know, don't attack unless it's um, guaranteed. It's um, going to help with your awareness. And then you can apply this to human because humans, they have patterns. And if you go to the adaptation video, or if you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about because now you got to know how to adapt. So you add that with all this here, all this practice, <coughs> excuse me, all this practice in this video, and just put it all in one. And then when you play people, I'm telling you, watch, you're going to see a dramatic change because you know how to adapt, you know how to plan. And then if you're not sure what to do, you know, you do what I just displayed here. Things are going to be so much easier. You're going to have an easier freaking time. And don't worry if it doesn't come naturally, like right away. Like everything, if you're doing something new for the first time, it's gonna take practice. So you might try to practice this against people and you might get hit, like you might do worse than you're doing before. Don't even worry about it. Because obviously what you're doing right now is not getting the job done. Obviously, if you're struggling with what you're doing right now, it's obviously not getting the job done. So you gotta try something else. When you get better at something else, then, you know, you'll see a change like, okay, this is actually better or in some cases, uh, you know what, this is not. Uh, I got really good at this type of thing, but it's not working, so I need to try something else, something different. So don't rush it, don't force it, take your time. Like, while you're doing this, you get bored and trained anymore. What I usually do, I play music in the background. Sometimes I'm on the car talking to people, but I got the music jamming, and then I'm just in training mode, man. And I said, it takes time, don't get discouraged, don't quit, all this and that, man. Like. When, when you were learning how to walk, you know, you, you, you were crawling, and then when you try to walk, you fell. And when you fell, you weren't like, where, where, what, man, fuck this shit, I'm going back to crawling. Nah, man, you didn't give up. You cried a few times, busted ass, but then you got right back up, and then look, you learned how to walk to a point where you learn how to run, and then you can skip, and then you can jump, and then freaking these people at the Olympics doing like a thousand flips per, per, per second. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? You see what I'm saying? There we go. That's the end of the video. Hope this helped you guys out. Um, thanks to all the new subscribers that I got through my recent videos. And of course, my veteran subscribers. You guys are freaking awesome all together. I have a Twitter. Uh, if you guys want to message me and got questions, you can hit me up on Twitter. You can message me on Smashboards. Um, I have a Discord. The link is in the description below. Um, I'm thinking about doing lessons. Like the lesson that I do is um I'm thinking of making it like um maybe like ten dollars and ten dollars a day. What what it does is <coughs> basically you had me for the whole day. For ten dollars you got me for twenty four hours, right? And what I do is I put you through drills. Like I'll play you to see like your habits and whatnot. I'll tell you what your habits are, how you can fix them, and then I'll put you through drills. The drills that I will put you through it's basically, um, I'm going to test you be like, alright, I'm going to play in a certain way and I'm going to see how good you are figuring it out. Like the pattern, how to figure it out. If you're in a bad situation, I'm going to leave a pattern with a shield pressure or edge guarding and I'm going to see if you can notice, you can pick it up and see like, okay, he's doing this, this is what I should do. And then after a while, I'm going to mix it up and when I start mixing it up, everything's going to sink in naturally and then it'll get more challenging and harder but at the same time, it will force you to think, respect, and plan stuff out. So um, I'll have more info on that um, in, in the future, probably within a few days or so. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And with that said, I will see you next time. Deuces.